What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon VGC video. Today I'm going to be testing out a team that I actually showed off to the Patreons uh, a little while back. Basically, um, you know, I do, I do a little series on Patreon where I build around a particular Pokemon that I think is interesting, and I test it out initially, and then if I end up finding it interesting or good enough to use in a real video, uh, I bring it over here. So yeah, uh, this team has been pretty decent in in testing uh basically what i'm using is a zorark but i'm going to disguise it as lunala 90 percent of the time because it avoids fake outs and stuff but yeah i'll get into that in a second before that if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time do me a favor leave a like on it subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because i bring you daily vgc content except for yesterday i was sick and it was the super bowl so i didn't <laughs> but yeah um also if you want to you know check out my patreon and support me further that's the thing i also you know go live on twitch tonight at 5 30 but uh zorark right so zorark is a really cool pokemon it has that ability illusion that makes it disguise as the last pokemon in your party so you know you select the zorark or whatever and then the last pokemon you select is what it turns into obviously you don't want to disguise it as groudon or incineroar or thunderous or I guess you can get away with Thunders, but Groudon and Incineroar are like a no-no. Uh, since their abilities activate on switching, it's very obvious that, you know, it's not those things. Uh, but Zora can pretty effectively disguise as the rest of these things. Most of the time, though, it's going to be Lunala. Since Lunala is a ghost type, uh, it avoids, it makes it so Zora avoids fake out. Um, as well as it is a Pokemon that tends to want to get taunted by Whimsicott to, you know, prevent Trick Room. Uh, so being a dark type means I'm completely immune to that and I can taunt it back. Or my favorite lead uh, is actually Zorak plus Thunderous. And if they end up leading off with like a Thunderous plus a Zacian, I'm able to go for a Burning Jealousy. And since it's technically turn zero when the Zacian hits the field, I end up getting a burn on it due to the fact that it got the, um, the Intrepid Sword boost. Thunderous also is typically faster than my Zorark. Not mine, obviously. Mine is a bit slower. Uh, but opposing Thunderous, if they're running like max speed or anything higher than uh, 172, uh, I will be able to burn them with uh, them going for max airstream. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I think I'm at like mid ladder. I might be lower. I haven't played on Shodan in a little bit. 1369, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, let me go ahead and grab the Zorark cringe team. And yeah, as always, uh, the team information is, you know, you can rip it from the video or you can join my Discord and check out the Moxie Boosted Team Library, which is where I post all these things. Okay, hopefully this isn't a completely unsuccessful session. Um, <laughs> like, this is a fun team and all. It's not the most reliable team, but it's a fun team regardless. So even if we end up doing bad, I'm going to post this video. I see a Incineroar. Uh, as well as a couple of Pokemon that would like to set up Trick Room or Tailwind. I actually really like the Zorark Thunderous lead for that reason. I can taunt the Porygon too, or anything really. Uh, and Thunderous just is good on lead since it's Assault Vest. It's able to take hits from the Groudon and the... Well, I mean, like, you know, it can probably take like a not max Rockfall from Groudon, but from the Dialga especially, it loves being in on that. Uh, I definitely want to bring my Groudon to this matchup, and I think... I mean, I'm tempted to bring the, the Incineroar here. Incineroar is obviously a very useful Pokemon, but I think I'm going to bring Lunala. Okay, I do get my attack boost. And here's the fun part. I really don't think they're going <laughs> to... I think that they want to definitely go for the Trick Room here. Uh, so I should be able to get a Taunt off. And I'm going to go for the... I wouldn't mind a Max Knuck on Dialga. I don't really need the Speed Boost versus this team. But yeah. Also, excuse me if I cough once in a while. You know, like I said, I was a little sick today. All right, they do Dynamax, so, you know, I don't manage to stop that. Uh, I go for the Max Knuckle. Hopefully, they're not policy. That'd be really crappy for me. All right, they're not. They're going to go for the Steel Spike on the Lunala. They're likely just going to double into my Zorark, which is fine by me. You know. Yeah, that's fine. They thought it was the Lunala, so I'm, like, good to go. Uh, here, what I'm going to do is I am going to get in the Groudon. And this should be pretty free. I am White Herb, so I can go for a Precipice Blades plus Max Knuckle. And there isn't much they can do about that. I'm just going to Max Knuckle the Dialga. Should be pretty safe. And yeah, like, they, they can try to make, like, a defensive switch, but it likely isn't going to work out for them. And I should eat anything this Dialga wants to go for. Including that, but only barely. That was terrifying. All right, don't miss or you're going into the Forever Box. Wow, that Incineroar just ate that up. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's actually fine. Now that I look at the field, everything's all good. There's their Groudon. And they're likely just going to go right back into Incineroar to fake out my Groudon, but... Oh no, they end up going Porygon 2. Uh, I see no reason not to just double this Porygon 2, to be honest. 
Rock slide. That's not going to knock out my Groudon. Hopefully it doesn't flinch. I'd love to prevent a trick room here. All right, Groudon. Come on, buddy. Nice. And we get good damage on the <laughs> on the opposing Groudon as well. Uh, we did notice that it is faster than us. I would say my play here is going to be... I want to protect my Groudon. And if I lose my Thunders, it's kind of whatever. Uh, let's just go for the Brick Break onto the Incineroar. I definitely don't want my Lunala to have to take that. Uh, Rock Slide's probably going to do enough to KO me, I think. Yep. And here I have to... I should be able to win if I land my Meteor Beam, but that's a pretty big if. I hate when that happens. I hate that the fact that it comes down to this, but let's go for the Meteor Beam. It all comes down to this. Or maybe if they miss like a P Blades or a Rock Slide on my Groudon. Either one, as long as I connect and move here. Don't flinch, Lunala. Don't you dare. Oh, you're kidding me. You're, you're actually kidding. Okay, well, GG. That's pretty unfortunate. Uh, I kind of had it in the bag. But still, you know, it's, it's all good. It's all good. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You're mad. All right. Yeah, that was that's a little disappointing. I, I definitely would have won that. Okay. So here we actually see Zacian Landorus. Uh, once again, I actually really like the Thunderous in uh, the Thunderous and Zorark lead. Uh, since I can go for the... Or I should be able to go for the, the Burning Jealousy on this guy if it wants to lead off. That, or I can go for like a Taunt on this thing. Uh, Groudon's phenomenal in this matchup, <coughs> since it uh, helps out the Thunders quite a bit, uh, versus this thing. As for my last Pokemon, um, I think we just we can do Lunala again. We can also do Venusaur. Venusaur isn't that bad, but I think I get more value out of Lunala most of the time. This is essentially a four Pokemon team. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to go for the Burning Jealousy here. And this is actually huge for me. This is actually huge. Um, since... Do I want a Dynamax here? I think I do. I think I'm fine taking this damage. I'm just going to KO the Whimsicott. If they don't switch out... Or if they double the Lunala, then yeah, like that could be bad. There's the Taunt. That means that they have forfeited their Trick Room... Or their Tailwind privileges. And they're not going to like that. As you can see, I secure the Burn on the Zacian. And now their Tailwind is no longer an option. And Lunala, or not Lunala, you know, Zorark. Zorark's pretty fast now. Zorark is pretty, pretty fast. And the Zacian's pretty much burned forever. I suppose a Regieleki could be kind of bad for me, uh, but I don't know if I really care that much. I think they might have gotten Lando. My money's on Lando, if anything. They're thinking. Okay, there's the Kyogre. Um, hoping it's not Choice Scarf. We have no way of knowing. If it is Choice Scarf, 223. Um, I should be faster-ish, maybe? Kinda? <laughs> it's pretty rough. Alright. Um, yeah, uh, I think here my play is going to be... I'm going to get in my Groudon, and I am going to go for the... Do I want to max airstream this Kyogre? I think max lightning safer. Just to make sure I take like minimal damage here. If they max guard, you know, that, that would suck, but... Alright, let's see if they go for it. They don't. It's going to be decent damage. Good damage, actually. Like, really good damage. There's the B-Blade, and if they don't... Yep, I was going to say, if they don't go for the... For the, um... What was it called? If they don't go for the freaking max hailstorm, then I was always good. I was always going to be good there. Uh, if they, I think they want to max guard here, so I'm actually going to go for a speed boost on my Groudon, and I'm going to max airstream and precipice blades the Zacian, and that should be good enough to win the game, I think. Yeah, because they're going to kill my Thundy. I miss that. That sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> Uh, this Groudon doesn't fail to disappoint, does it? Uh, I'm gonna go my Zorak here. And I definitely want to just B-Blades and hope that I'm still faster than the Kyogre. Uh, along with that, I'm gonna go for a Dark Pulse on the Kyogre. They go Lando Therian. Luckily, you know, I got my, my White Herb here. Am I still faster? I am, and I connect. Nice. And their Dynamax is gone. So, everything should be Gucci. It's not like, yeah, there's the forfeit. Awesome, so we actually get like a pretty decent game for the Zorark there. Lunala didn't even show up. <laughs> I 
This once again is just a crazy game for Zorak Thundras. I'm sorry if you guys are going to get sick of seeing this every single time, but it, it does go crazy. Like, like this combo does go crazy. Uh, yeah, Groudon, Lunala every single time. Like, the, the, the Incineroar almost never gets to play. <coughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, GLHF. Alright. Oh, this guy knows me. I'm really hoping their max speed thunders. That'd be really huge. You know, unless they double Lunala. The only bad thing about doubling into Lunala, or the, the Zorark, or what, what, am I, what am I saying? The only bad thing about them thinking that it's a Lunala, a Lunala is that they're more likely to double into it. Because they want to break the Shadow Shield. So it's it's not uncommon that that happens, but it's still, you know, it's, it's still a thing that happens. But what's funny is versus Ditto, uh, if they end up leading off Ditto against the Zorark, then they don't get to disguise. And while that is a dead giveaway, it does leave them with a completely useless Pokemon on the field. And that's always funny. <clears throat> Apologies for the dead air there. I just don't know what to say. <laughs> All right, awesome. We get a boost here. And I am pretty certain they're just going to want to, like, max airstream into me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind the taunt. I think I'd rather actually deal with this guy first. Uh, maybe maybe I do with the Lando. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the Lando. Will you consider making a rush team? Bet. You know what? I'll do that. If, if this guy beats me, I will make a rushy ram team. So for all of you in the chat right now, or in the in the comment section that are like, you know, cheering on this guy with the Reshiram, just know that he is your last bastion of getting me to use this Pokemon. There are certain, like, restricteds that I just don't like for some reason. I just find them uninteresting. And Reshiram just happens to be one of them. Oh, alright. Go for the taunt. This thing is now almost useless. They max Airstream. Send a note is they are faster than my Thunderous. Which could be a little bit annoying, but uh, I'm not too unhappy with that. I think what I can do here now is I'm going to go into my Groudon, and I'm just going to max airstream the Landris once more. Or actually, maybe I just go for Dark Pulse. I'm just going to Dark Pulse. I want the damage. I'd like to make sure this thing can't do anything for the rest of the match. And I suppose the only thing I have to really be careful about is if he has Sucker Punch, and he just Sucker Punches the Zorark. <laughs> Alright, got my damage there. That's actually huge. This should KO. And boom. Nice. Okay. Everything seems to be going pretty Gucci. Uh, I'm going to get my Groudon in here. Yes, they have a speed boost. Yes, I am scared. No. I will not lose. Uh, let me just double into this Reshi. Reshiram shouldn't be... Oh, alright, you know what? I That that might save me here. Oh, I get a crit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I mean, I don't know if that would KO. It depends on the move. I mean, they could be going for, like, some nasty, crazy move. A crazy, nasty move, even. Um... So this thing has fake out and fake tears. I want to say they don't have screens, so I'm just going to, you know, just in case I'll break break. Just in case, just in case. Scary face. Hey. All right. GG's. Well played. Unfortunately, I just got luckier. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just got luckier there. I'm sorry, bro. Hey, at least you were in a video. You know, I'm, I'm sure that has, that has some, you know, decent merit to it. Uh, let's see. So, Zorark, how, how good do you do here? Um, it, it isn't that bad. I mean, taunting either of these two would be really nice on lead. But I really like my Venusaur in this game. It's very rare I get to actually use the Venusaur. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me think. How can I, how can I make a funny out of this? How can I make a funny out of this? They have two Dark types, so I almost don't want to bring Lunala. I think I'm going to bring the Venusaur. Maybe I don't bring the Zorark is actually the thing. Yeah, I think I just don't bring the Zorark. They also don't have any Intimidators. Uh, I get a lot of value just by going like Incineroar, Venusaur, Groudon, Lunala. 
That should be fine. Yeah, the Incineroar lead's always going to be heat. Apologies for all the Zoroark fans in the in the in the comments. Uh, no Zoroark this game. There, yeah, almost fourteen hundred. That's pretty good. It's pretty good for a Zoroark team, you know. All right, there's the Tornadus and the Zacian. Uh, obviously, this isn't ideal. Let's go ahead and go for the parting shot onto you. And I think I'm just going to protect. Maybe I should break a Sash. No, I'm just going to parting shot. You know what? Neither. We're going for the gamer play. I'm going to KO the Zacian. Call me crazy. I'm going to KO the Zacian turn one. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't KO the Zacian. But still... Still gaming, in fact. Uh, they have to choose which one of these Pokemon they want to knock out now. So I'm just going to Flare Blitz and uh, Press Blades. I don't mind losing the, the Grout on here. You know, I, I lose if I lose, uh, you know, if I, if I don't care the Zacian here, I probably just lose anyway, so. However, Lunala could carry me the rest of the game if I get this KO. They go for the Sacred Sword. Ooh, they might have made a mistake. All right, I just got to connect. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't miss. KO? Not quite, not quite. Okay. Can I get a Trick Room off? Uh, I don't even know if I want to get a Trick Room off, to be honest. Alright, I think I'm just going to do this. Max Phantasm Protect. That's fine. They shouldn't be doing much. Okay. And now that Tornadus has uh, defense drops, that's pretty good. Their second restricted is Groudon. Pretty awesome for me. The only thing that's kind of concerning is I don't know if I KO this Tornadus with, uh, with Max Phantasm. I kind of have to go for a Max Rockfall, but I don't want to because that'll get rid of the sun. I suppose I could also just reset it next turn. <laughs> Alright, Rillaboom. Yeah, no, I should be able to do that now. I'm going to go for Max Rockfall, and I'm going to hard switch in the Venusaur. I don't mind losing the Sun here. Don't be knockoff. No! <laughs> okay, uh, I likely lose. Just going to put that out there. I likely lose. Um... I always forget if Weather Ball or Sludge Bomb is stronger in this case. I think Sludge Bomb's... Or is it? Let me think. I think it's Sludge Bomb. Oh, they got Weather Ball too. Alright, GG. They got me. They got me. You know, that's what happens when you don't bring Zorak. You start losing. They got me good there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, viewers. Yeah, that's a Giratina. I mean... Probably just gonna be like Trick Room, Self Shadow Sneak, Weakness Policy stuff. I actually really like my Lunala in this game. You might think, Marcos, you're an idiot bringing Lunala. You're stupid. You're dumb. Delete your channel. But I can just disguise it. <laughs> I can make him want to go for the Max Phantasm, you know? And then I get a Dark Pulse and everything's good. So I think what I'll do here is I will go for the Thundy Zorark. I'm gonna bring my Groudon and I'm gonna bring my Lunala. And this is all good, yeah. Um, this is all Gucci, in fact. It's probably Mental Herb on the Mimikyu, since that's just, like, objectively the best item. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I really doubt this works. But I'm just going to do it. I believe. Do you believe? I believe. I really hope they're not. <laughs> I really hope they're not Mental Herb. They should be, though. <coughs> That's just, like, the best Mimikyu item. And I don't really have a way to securely knock it out without, like, creating a Max Airstream. Because, yeah, I could go for Dark Pulse in the Max Airstream and hope that that KOs, but it, it definitely doesn't. Hello? 
I mean, I'll take it. I'm probably going to get a Defiant boost. Yeah, go ahead and max Phantasm the, the Lunala. See what happens. Oh, okay. They got me good. Uh, I, I think I still win. By doing that. There's Scarf. I still don't take that much, though. That'll KO. All right. Uh, I'm liking the way this is shaping up, you know? Let's go for the P-Blades. Go for the Max Darkness. Oh, it's probably Policy, though. Dang it. I, I mean, it's worth it if I just get, like, Zorak Lunala on the field. I just have to break this disguise, you know? Yeah, Policy. There it is. All right, they aim for the AV Thundy, which is good. And that's over. I should be able to win this by doubling the Mimikyu. Don't miss. Go into the Forever Box if you miss. All right, nice. Trick Room avoided, and that is game. Go for the Lash Out. GG. Nice. I didn't expect them to Dynamax there. I think they were making a hard Zorark call. So I suppose that makes sense in that position, you know? Okay. It was kind of cool seeing a, a Giratina. By the way, how do you guys feel about Hisui and Zorark? You guys think it's going to be any good? I think it's going to be great. I already made a video about it. Okay. So this is actually really fun. I should always be able to do the... should always be able to do this lead. I think. Ooh, this is actually a really rough matchup now that I think about it. Hmm. Let's go Zorak, Incineroar, Groudon, Lunala. Yeah, Calyrex Ice is a bit of a rough matchup. I mean, I think my Lunala can deal with it in the end, but it's probably going to be my Dynamax target. Um, and disguising Zorark as Lunala also makes it much easier to taunt the Calyrex, preventing that outright. Let me turn on the timer here. All right, so they're going Turbo Rex. Uh, I don't know if I like that much. I am very certain they're just going to Tailwind here. Let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Gotta run, gotta think, gotta think while I'm running. Spawn job reference right there. Uh, let's just Dark Pulse. And I'll attempt a Parting Shot. I'm pretty sure they're Weakness Policy, but I really doubt I have many options. Okay, that's fine, you know. As they whiff a Hurricane. I don't know why they did that. Do I get in the real Lunala or the Ground? I think I get more value out of the Ground on here. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I mean, I can go for a Rock Slide. I don't really mind anything switching in. Yeah, we'll just do this. <coughs> they get in the Kyogre. They're just gonna, you know, do their thing here. Weather Ball. Okay, I didn't expect that. That sucks. I'm going to max my Lunala. This should be fine. It just isn't ideal, you know. Um, it's Dark Pulse EU. And I think I can get my Trick Room off, but it's going to be so freaking bad. Because that Calyrex will end up being faster than me, unless they Tailwind here. I think I'd prefer... It's probably just max speed Calyrex. I'm going to try it. I probably lose. I, I've pretty much come to accept that. Yeah, they're going to break my shield. All right. What can I do to stop this? Not much. I can Dynamax my Incineroar and hope for the best. That's a thing. Max Darkness, is that optimal or is Max Flare optimal? I mean, my Lunala is probably going to be the last thing standing. Max Flare better.
That's a decent damage. Find some. Oh, he lived! Yo, he lived! Okay. Alright. How do I do this? I'm gonna max darkness the Kyogre. Fully expecting to lose my Incineroar here. Oh, yo? And yeah, that's game. Okay, GG. <laughs> Let's do one more. I mean, what is it? I think I'm like going mostly even this, this session. I think I've lost... That was either my second or third loss. I'd like to... Uh, oh, this is actually a really fun game. This is a really fun game. Uh, we do the same thing. Like, like the standard Zora, Thunderous, Groudon, Lunala thing. But what we do here is we feed into their expectation that I am going to be a Lunala. And then we just Dark Pulse it. And that's the funnest part about this team, is just this particular Pokemon. Burning Zacian is also really fun. Yeah, I mean, they don't really have much for Thundee, all things considered. Like, Reggie, like, he could be kind of annoying. Uh, I guess I guess the main thing I want to do is just try to one-shot that Calyrex with a Dark Pulse, or at least, you know, really bug it. Calyrex Shadow, Groudon, that's exactly what I wanted to see. I'm going to Dark Pulse, I am going to Max Airstream, and we're going to call it a day there. I have to double, because they're typically Focus Sash. <coughs> You know, the original final move on this thing was actually uh, Snarl, but I switched it to Burning Jealousy just because Burning Jealousy is decent coverage, and especially in a Dynamax format, it's really good. Burning Jealousy will never be as good as it is in Dynamax. It will just be a very, very meh move after this generation, which kind of sucks. I mean, maybe Torkoal can still use it, but that's only because it's so slow. They go for the will o -Wisp. that's fine. I'm still going to KO this thing. So they go for the P-Blades. Alright. How much do I care that I just got burned? Not much, especially if one of their last Pokemon is... I was going to say, um... I was going to say Venusaur, but I suppose that works too. Let's just, uh, I get the most damage out of Burning Jealousy, and I'm going to max airstream this Urshifu. I'm going to go ahead and leave that Groudon alone for a while. I'm not really terribly concerned about it. Probably going to get Sucker Punched on my Zorark, but I don't really care as long as I KO this Urshifu. Decent damage. Let's see if this picks it up. Yes, okay. Yeah, they're in a bit of trouble now uh, because I still have... Uh, I, I'm assuming their last Pokemon is going to be this Venusaur, which would really suck, man. <laughs> Oh, it's Sylveon. No, we're good. We're good, we're good. Uh, I definitely don't want a Trick Room now, which kind of sucks. Uh, but I think my play here, interestingly enough, is going to be a little bit of a Wombo combo. Let's do this. Yeah, I mean, I'm faster than my Groudon, or than my Lunala with uh, my Thunder, so let's get a Special Defense drop. Hopefully it's not White Herb. And get some massive damp. That that's got to be AV. <laughs> that's that's definitely AV. Judging by that damage right there. Um, how do I win this? How do I win this? How do I win this? I think my best bet's going to be doubling down the Sylveon probably, and hoping that I KO. I don't think this will. Sylveon's got a massive special defense. <laughs> Or maybe I probably should have gone for the Grout on there. Now that I think about it, Sylveon doesn't like getting hit, you know, by, um, do I survive? No. I was going to say, Sylveon doesn't like getting hit by, <laughs> by Precipice Blades. Um, it's probably ideal just to protect here on the Max Quake. Shouldn't do too much. They go for Baby Doll Eyes. That kind of sucks. How much do I care? Uh, not too much. I mean, like, Baby Doll Eyes is gonna activate my White Herb. But I kinda wish I attacked last turn now. So they are faster than me, and I'm, they're probably gonna win this. 
Ooh, actually. Um, yeah, they're probably gonna win this. That did way too much. 52%, they gotta be like adamant max attack. Oh, I won the speed tie! All right, GG. <laughs> we were speed tied. We're both running four speed. I'm sorry, bro. I, I just be like that. Anyways, uh, that was a fun way to end off the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, obviously leave a like. Uh, info for the team is going to be in my pa not my Patreon, in my Discord. Uh, if you want to check out my Patreon to get in on other teams a little bit early, let me know. You know, by supporting it, obviously link in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.